Bub. 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 It chapter two. Just got out of it chapter two. It Caleb. chapter two. Caleb. Woo. Well, Very, the most anticipated the most. movie. Uh, of of the fall or summer of slash whole, fall of the whole year probably for I would say that you year. had about two movies you had Endgame and then you had this um, Caleb a couple of those Toy Story uh, well yeah yeah uh, the biggest two. September movie of all time yes uh, it chapter one the sequel the sequel to it the chapter that we two loved. we love chapter one Caleb Bob what you think about this movie because uh, I got some strong opinions. I do too. It's uh, bar none, the weirdest movie of 2019. Yep. And I got to I got to I've, I've got it was damn entertaining. I've got to. Uh, damn, was it entertaining? I've got to. I've got to applaud them swinging for the fences. But I have. You have some major flaws with the movie. I have like big flaws, but allow me to help. Yeah. Uh, go I'll, ahead. Let me go into the the first big flaw. I think the movie has a. A lot working against it, against it immediately. I think the first scene of this movie is terrible. Another uh, major flaw for me is that this movie is tonally all over the place. It is like all I know over the, the first place. one ha had a lot of tones. This one, it, it is a tonal nightmare. It bounces from thriller to horror to comedy, comedy and it's to drama. Boom, 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 boom. Well, and, and there's and there's no segue. The one thing it just happens. I think I think the thing that it fails at the most is drama. Or, or or scenes that 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 they're trying to build a, th a thriller or threatening element that doesn't have to do with Pennywise. Like for right. instance, there's a there's a scene of domestic abuse at the, at the beginning of the movie, and it reminded me of something from what was that? What was that? that the Intruder. The Intruder. It reminded me of something from The Intruder. I'm like, this that was bad. Like I don't, that was, I don't know. That was bad acting. That far. I thought the acting was bad. Even though I think Jessica Chastain is great in this movie, the actor that she was in a scene with was bad. Which. In the first, well, he was bad in the first movie too. That dude was not in the first movie. I, we're thought, we're thinking of two different things. Oh, okay. I'm not talking about the dad. Uh, oh, the dad's in the movie, by the way. The dad's Spoiler in the movie. alert! Um, and, but you knew that. And, and going I, into this movie, if you think, think the kids are not in the I movie, think my then next you don't flaw really think about is that somehow, some way, the CG in the first movie is is better. And the, they hear me out, because it, it it doesn't use it as much, and it's usually done in the dark. And I, th I think the CG in the first movie is really good. It, it feels more comfortable right. doing it out in the open. Mm -hmm. And there's some goofy looking stuff in the first half of this movie. Here's here's the problem with that. And this is what I... This is just me. Yeah. This movie is double the length of the first movie. Yeah. Almost double du the length. Double there's the almost double another... The as well. Exactly. There's almost another hour added to this movie. It is. It's more CG based simply because of what they have to do in this movie for chapter two to be, to stay true to the book. Mm -hmm. There's stuff in this movie that has to happen and quite frankly, this movie could have taken another six or seven months as, as far as the CG department goes. Oh, six yeah. or seven months to be completed because there's certain there's stuff things there. there's like stuff the there. first spider when I looked at yeah there's spiders in the film well, of course just to let spiders. you know of course there's spiders yeah if you've seen the, the TV version you know what uh, it's gonna be I didn't, I didn't think the spider looked bad I, uh, no, no, no 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 I could, I could tell saying, you like note for note the things that look bad in this movie I'm talking the 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 morphing into the spider the first time that looked bad I don't know I like I no, no 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 I'm talking about we're not, right we're not before, talking about the head are we yes I'm no, talking right no I'm talking right before it happened okay. when the head is sitting there talking it Looks yeah, actually kind of awful. Honestly, I think that all the CG in the third act is good. Uh, See, I don't, I don't agree. But I in the first agree. half, there's so much stuff in the, in the daylight that it. I'd say the first kill of the movie, like we were talking about that first scene, the mm -hmm. first kill it looks bad. It, w compared to the first kill of the first movie, where it's in the sewer yeah. and kind of dark. So there's just a lot of stuff there that, that and I argue that there's not enough Pennywise in the movie because I think Bill Skarsgård is still I agree. amazing I agree. as Pennywise and. My last complaint, then I'm going to get into the major positives for me, is that there's an entire storyline you could cut out and it wouldn't change the film. It would not change the film. And I'll go ahead and tell you who has to deal with. You've seen the tree, if you've seen the trailers, you know this character comes back. Somehow, the dude should be dead because he fell down a huge, huge well. Yes. Um, so, yes. so the bully in the so, first movie comes back in this movie and his storyline is like something from the evil dead. <laughs> like, I'm 
there's another character. That there's is... another character that pops up to help him, and I'm like, this is this is this is leading into cartoon land, and that actor is is not good. I don't think. And you could cut it out his entire storyline, which is about 25 to 30 minutes. You could cut it out, and it wouldn't change. It would not change yep. the movie. So with that alone, I kind of feel and with I that you feel that. the length of the film because of stuff like that. I agree, and at the same time, it's one of those type of of narratives and plot devices that if you take that away from the movie, it continues. It has a singular flow. It has a singular motion. Um, it, it being simply the losers versus Pennywise. Mm -hmm. You bring him into the equation again. Which, granted, he was an effective plot point in the first film because it had a little bit. It had, in the first, had a, I think he had, had a, a thing to go with one. it. Yeah. In this one, he serves no purpose. No, no, no he does None not. None whatsoever. None. There, he, nothing that he does in the film. It's bad. Per, I'd say it's bad. Nothing that he does <laughs> in the film. Yeah. It, it projects not, anything into the rest not, of the it film. It does not change any outcome that happens in the film. Yeah, there's one cool scene there towards the end of that arc, but I'm like, I, I could sacrifice that. I yeah, don't care. I don't uh, need that. I'm going to go into the huge positives now. Uh, Real quick, though. Okay. Real sidebar. Okay. I noticed these things. Yeah. Really good job editing crew of flipping a scene and making it look absolutely completely noticeable. Yeah. What, are we, a, what are we talking there's about? There's a scene in the movie yeah. when they are in the sewers. They go in the sewers again. That's not a spoiler. <laughs> to where one character, you can tell that it's flipped. Yeah. Uh -huh. And it's so damn noticeable that the whole they but they they took the scene yeah. in editing and flipped it. Uh -huh. That or whoever did costume wasn't paying attention to the rest of the fucking film. Oh, it's okay. Sorry, yeah, I, I'm, yeah, yeah, I guess I didn't notice it. I'll, I'll um, tell you after. Okay, but uh, I noticed it. So uh, and I, I can't stand that. I'm gonna go into continuity. I'm gonna go into the huge positives. Uh, okay, the weirdness of this movie is I admire it so yes. much. There's there are. Two instances within the first hour yes. that, like, I'm like, 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 this is a movie. This, this is the sequel to the, the, the most, the highest grossing horror movie of all time, and they're doing this weird it's thing. A, it is very. <laughs> uh, there's ballsy. a weird thing which I'd say it's arguably the first good scene of the movie. I think it takes a long time to get to the first good scene, but after that, there's a lot of good scenes. And the first yep. good scene is when they're at the Chinese restaurant. Yeah, and that's, they're all getting that's along. Fantastic. And the way that that scene ends. It has some questionable CG, but just but, the, just the design and the, the the admiration to go to the places they go to in that yeah. scene. I'm like, applaud. Yeah. It also, if you've read the book, it tackles uh, the, what what's it called the the ceremony of Cho. What's it called? Uh, Chud. Oh God. Um, uh, yes. Ritual of Chud. Yeah. It dives into that a little bit, and there's some Doctor Strange stuff going on. Absolutely. Like that. that that, the first half of this film is absolutely a a, a an origin story. Yeah, and it, and it's and it's okay. The the weirdness of them, like, yeah, the weirdness is, is a bit off putting at times. But then I'm like, you know what? That stuff right there is what's going to make me want to come back and yeah, rewatch and this watch movie. it again. Yeah. Uh, Bill Hader is amazing in this movie. Uh, he's he's by far the best person in the movie. Yeah. He's the funniest person. He's the most engaging person. He's the person that you feel the most emotion for by the end of the Here's movie. Here's the thing, though. Other than the character that we're talking about, yeah. everyone in this movie's good. I, I agree that everybody's good. I agree that everybody's good, but I think that there's there might be... But Bill Hader, though. I think that there might be one main... Uh, one of the main loser characters that they don't use him that well. It's in it. I'll go and say it's Mike. It's because my Mike, yeah. the way that they use him, that he's just there to get everybody together, and then yeah. he's kind of like a crackpot. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. like, and I don't think he's done that well. I was worried that James McAvoy wasn't gonna be that good because in the trailer they don't they don't show him that much. Right. They don't. But he's actually really good. Yeah. And Jessica Chastain is good, and the dude that plays the, well, the dude that I plays mean, uh, the, 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 the kid McAvoy, the kid so. who's. Always scared of getting sick. Uh, I, I don't know. The, I can't remember these kids' names. But that dude, I think that the casting for the Richie. older... Uh, no, Richie's Bill Hader. Oh, Eddie. Uh, Eddie. Eddie. Oh, um, shoot, I think the sorry. casting, the older versions, they're spot on. Yeah. Especially, you know what? Even though you know he's not, not in the movie that much, the guy who plays the older version of Stanley looks identical to the younger version of Stanley. The movie is probably a fun... Uh, it, I mean, it aims more for humor than the first one, and it, there's some big swings that don't land, I think, humor-wise. Uh, and you know what? Some of them come from Bill Hader, and that kind of... Some, but I, I think most, um, of, most of his stuff landed for me. Uh, with the exception I mean, of some stuff, some stuff right, like right towards the beginning. Because like I said, I think this movie takes 30 minutes to yeah, get to yeah. a, a comfort... Uh, a comfort As level. comfortable a place that this weird-ass movie is going to get to, you know? 
It's not. See, at the same time, for me, like, and it, and it, it, it dictates my final score. I turned into Bill there for a second because um, I couldn't get it out. Yeah. Um, that that kind of hurts the final score for me, but at the same time, I respect that they took the time to get that plot that 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 slow build plot device no I, I don't mind the slow build i just like i said there's an entire storyline you could cut out and it would it would cut out 30 minutes of the movie and it would be shorter and i do think you feel the length by the end of the movie yeah. even though i think the third act is 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 balls to the wall crazy like yeah. like it, it capitalizes on all the weirdness that it sets up uh, in the first movie in, in the first half yeah uh and yeah, this movie I don't think is anywhere close to as good or as tight as the first movie. No. The first movie, I remember walking out of the first movie and I was like, I'm going to watch this movie so many times. Yeah. And this one, I might watch it again. Uh, yeah. it, it is disappointing because it, you think a chapter two of a movie that we love so much, you want to get a really amazing conclusion. And while I do think the movie ends strong, there's just so much there that, that I dare to say is, is, is borderline bad. But then there's also so much that I, I, I was just enjoying. Like, I've never felt so conflicted about a movie. Like, usually I'll be watching a movie, like something like Pet Cemetery, mm -hmm. where it starts off bad and it never wins me. No. I think this movie started off bad and it just gradually kept, it gradually kept winning me. I was, right. like, I was like, if this movie is doing a good job of, of winning me back, right. regardless of if it's tonally jumbled and all over the place, it was doing a good job of winning me back. And I, I, I just, I respect the ambition mm -hmm. at, at a movie that's essentially a blockbuster movie at the yeah. at, like right at after summer it, yeah. right after summer is ended that they took they took the, such daring chances mm -hmm. with this movie and I don't I don't think it's gonna be for everybody I don't think it's gonna make as it, much money as the first movie I, I, uh, upon, upon seeing it no I don't and yeah and, it, we, and we, it's runtime it's runtime hurts it a yeah, little bit we too. originally said that it was gonna make 150 million no way opening it might make 100 no it might make 100 million this weekend but. But in the, in the long run, it's not going to make nearly as much money as the first time. I don't think so either. Yeah. Um, and not to mention the fact that this... It, Chapter 1, even though there's like some gory moments in it... This movie's a lot gorier. There, you could you could get away with taking yeah. a, a, a 12, 13-year-old kid to see the first one. No way with this one. No this way movie, with this This movie's one. really weird. It has a lot of body horror. Uh, yes. Grotesque, like um, really gross stuff. Yeah. Uh, and that I think that hurts it as far loved. as... I loved it, but but I think sure. It, yeah. But it hurts it from a audience standpoint yeah. of you can't take your whole family yeah. to watch this movie. You oh, yeah. can't. You can't do it. It's a harder R. Yeah. Uh, um, and, and like I said, it's the weirdest movie I've seen this year, and I've seen Midsummer. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, I will say this though. Uh, you know, we talk a lot about plot and what we didn't like. Yeah. About it. Movie is shot beautifully. I think I think it's this, beautiful. This has movie. some of the best transition shots yeah, I've seen in a movie. It's a beautiful oh, it's movie. Oh, it's directed. Uh, this Andy um, Muschietti is a great yeah, director. And and he, and yeah. it's like when, like, in the final few scenes of the film, and even some of the stuff that's, that's some of the dream sequences, mm -hmm. um, there's some pull-away shots that where you see this whole right. set yeah. and, and this whole, like, this whole area that they're shooting in. Yeah. And whether or not it's a real town or whether or not they built these sets, whatever. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful it is. shot all around. Oh, yeah. And no doubt. Uh, bravo to the cinematographers. Yeah. Bravo. bravo. I will say... Uh, well, I didn't think the first movie was a uh, was that scary. I just really enjoyed it as a right. coming of age movie. This movie is not is zero percent scary. Like it's not. There's no. no there is nothing scary in this movie. It, no. For me, like nothing scary in this movie. I went in expecting that. I still mm -hmm. think there's some twisted visuals in the movie. Yes. Which it, which, don't mistake that as scary because it's not. No. Uh, Penny, uh, f final words for me. I think. Pennywise is underused. Every yeah. every time he showed up, I'm like, oh, thank God Pennywise is back. Because I think I thought they did some really cool stuff with with Pennywise. And I will. And uh, another another, I guess it's a CG moment. Another big flaw is the scene that you see in the trailer where where Beverly goes back to her house. And the setup for that is amazing. And the payoff is terrible. Um, yeah. But, but but then but then it delves into Pennywise there, and I love that. Yes. But the yeah. the payoff with the old woman is bad. So if if you're looking forward to that, the payoff. It, it, yeah. It's not great. I give this movie a B. I give it a B, which is the first one I give like an A minus or an A two because I yeah. love that movie. I might watch it again just to revisit some I, I of those really, weird visuals. I really want to see a supercut of this film. Take away the thirty minutes that we. I'm, I'm that gonna make my garbage. Own cut. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start Honestly, the movie. It wouldn't shock me if I'm somebody gonna, does. I'm gonna start the movie with a character that we know. And skip that whole entire first scene. Uh, but what, what's your grade? Uh, I give it a B. B. I give it a B. Um, What's crazy is that, you know, we, we were talking about the kid in the opening scene. You never see that kid again, which is 
wonderful. Yeah. Like you were talking about, it sets up something and it does nothing yeah, with it. It's, so, yeah, it, it's 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 unfortunate. It's trying to make a social commentary. It, it, it doesn't fails. land. It fails miserably. Yeah. Um, uh, it tries to make a social commentary two or three times in the movie and it doesn't really. Yeah. Wow. I would never tell anyone to not go watch this movie. Absolutely it not. doesn't fully succeed, but it does enough and it's so long that there's enough pieces there to to hold you to, there. to hold you there by the end and it ends good. I told you it was going to be a long yeah. a long review. Yeah. I'll We're probably I'll probably edit some of that no! first some of that first bit. No. <laughs> Keep it. Please. Please let us know what you think of this movie. I think it's going to be very divisive. It's going to be polarizing. Amongst the audience. Yep. It's just like it is for for critics. Uh It'll be as polarizing as the um what was the last what was the last movie that we saw like everybody was like you either loved it or Mother, you hated maybe? it. Yes, Mother's Mother. way better than this movie, though. Uh, please let us know what you thought of this movie in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button, and thank you for watching.